Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of the official ARC podcast number 238. My name's Coach Mistletoad, and I'm here live with the core team. Your host for tonight, as always, the one and only Mr. Atlas. Please take it away, sir. Thank you for the introduction, Coach Mistletoad. And folks, welcome back to another edition of the ARC Daily Podcast. This is Monday, folks, June 26. A very, very busy day, folks, here on the ARC. It has been just nonstop. We're going to have Brett Nordeen here shortly to give you the update, bring you in on all the information. We're running a bit late. We started a bit late. We're having some technical sound difficulties in the billion dollar broadcasting studio. Always great to see you all here. Want to give a shout out to Crypto Unlimited 22, aka Johnny Fawcett and the DeFi Diva, Tarno F, Daniel, our very own editor in chief of the official ARC Medium publication, our very own Catalyst. Shout out, great work on the week in review that you published yesterday, last night. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Always coming through, always coming through and delivering. The man has all the data, all the analysis, and he's got a cheat sheet from our good friends, the Crypto Badgers. If you haven't seen their Sunday service video, really going over the whole week of what's happened here on the pod. They really have their thumbs on the pulse of the arc, all the alpha, their journey, looking at the Excel sheets and just really bringing everything in a very fun, easily digestible video on YouTube. Check them out, Crypto Badgers, the ARC weekly video review. We also want to say hello to Mark, too, all the way from Australia. Always warm, always sunny Australia. Our very own Amanda, AJ Metz, their DeFi dude, Chris Dugan, LCM Crypto, Sky Vision 55, Stephen Toast. Raphael Soto, he's one of the beta testers of the air card folks. He uh, put the video on yesterday. After he loaded his car, he went shopping right at the gas station. He's got the big fuel tanker that he drives, and uh, he showed us live the receipt. He had a fantastic purchase. I want to give a shout out also to Leroy G.I. Joe Bob CT03, who's come back saying that he had a delicious meal over at the Burger King using the air card. Yes, sir. Archie DSW, Marco Hod. Great to see you, sir. One of the great leaders, great communicators, very passionate about the arc. Hope you're doing well, my friend. And of course, we also have Brandon the Drip Guide, a.k.a. the Rain Maker. He also took out the card for a test drive. We're going to be hearing from these folks in a little bit. Mr. Big, Terry Tibbs, the Meme Master, Crypto Fergie, Justin McDonald, 47, Coach Roberto, Hiami and Co. Congratulations, Hiami and Co. for winning the Sparky live. That's right. Winning it live on number 237. Epic recording that's already uploaded to the YouTube one of the great things is that right after the podcast is recorded here in Telegram, our very own Coach Mistletoad uploads it immediately to YouTube. He creates a chapter so all of the folks want to listen to the pod. They can just go right to the section that interests them, whether that's the spark drawing, whether that's the all aboard, DeFi sessions with our very own crypto expert, Mr. Z, Brett Norton's updates. It's all there. It's all organized. It's looking amazing. And 237 podcasts have been uploaded. Sheesh. We have our very own eternal cryptomanus, sir. Hope you're doing well. Mother Goose, Hamza, Kira Senpai, all the way from Russia, Udaban, and of course, Hadi. Hope you're all doing well. Let's go ahead and let's bring up the stats. Let's see what's happening on the arc. 
We're seeing 5,490 Arc Vault accounts, just 10 shy from the 5,500 milestone of Arc Vault accounts. Liquidity on PancakeSwap, 198,854. ILC reserves, 167 point, sorry, 167,177 BUSD. That's going down quite a lot. We did a study today, folks, uh, really looking at the buys and the sells as well as an important factor, which is really what the ILC is doing, is something we want to go ahead and, and, and touch on. Because the buys and the sells, let's go and take a quick look here, folks. Uh, we're seeing 27,000 of volume today, 13,000 buy and 13,000, 13, pardon me, sell volume. Now, the reality is that the ILC is doing really the, the, the heavy lifting here uh, to the tune uh, through our calculations done earlier today of $2,128 were bought and 14740 yeah, for, sorry, 14745 USD were sold worth of ARC. So of that 13K of buy, only 20, sorry, 2,128 were actually coming from investors. So the 13,000, uh, we're looking, the large, very large majority is going to the ILC. So we definitely, folks, have to rally. This is a time where we need to fight for the price. As you all understand, you're pretty much all experts in ARC. The ILC cannot do miracles. There has to be buy pressure coming in. It is holding steady the price, but as the liabilities continue to soar and the deposits coming in are not happening, we understand that the price will not be able to hold. We're working as fast as we can. Fred's gonna tell you a lot of the updates. Alex is back in. However, we do have to continue with our recruitment. We do need to continue to be out there. As soon as the products are up this week, we're going on an AMA tour. We're going to be doing some heavy advertising, but we have to do everything we can as a community to hold steady at this price. Going down on a tour at 50 cents, 30 cents, 25 cents is going to be a tough sell, folks. Uh, we understand folks are being very, very attracted to the products that we're bringing here online, but we also want them to see the magic that is this amazing system called the ArcFi ecosystem the foundation, the legacy NFTs, as well as the vault paying out 2%. I mean, we've got a great, I think, floor here of $1 that if we can hold it, imagine a stable coin that pays you 2% daily. I mean, guys, that is very bullish. That's a story that me and the community and Brett can all go out and rally uh, the troops and get a lot of investors interested, understanding also that we're working on Arclight. I mean, we're talking, you know, Bringing, bringing this fantastic system that we could compare to a chess game and then making it so simple that it's a checkers game that, you know, children, folks who've never gotten into crypto are going to be able to very quickly onboard and get into ARC. So there's a lot of that coming. So please, folks, let's rally. This is not the time to sit on our hands, drag our feet. It is now that we need to fight for our price Otherwise, we're going to experience further decline in price. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to our good friend here, Brett Nordine, sir. Hope you're doing well. Doing great. Yeah, busy day here. And yeah, we're really pushing on the utilities. Alex is back. Um, so we're, we're going to bring the, the on-ramp in the air card uh, to the public this week. Uh, not sure exactly which one's going to be finished first, but um, I would say that the whole front end for the air card is ready to go. So it's just a matter of us um, being confident in everything that we're doing with the DAO and the testing that we're going to be able to turn that on and, uh, and let all of the investors uh, interact with that protocol. Um, and then the on-ramp still waiting. Uh, haven't heard anything back from the bank today. But uh, hopefully within the next 24 hours, we'll get the green light, get that one turned on as well. So uh, with those two products, um, 
we had some great meetings on the tarot card today, getting those cards and, and just finalizing the process of how we're going to get those shipped out. Um, also some options there. I'm not sure if you want me to share uh, too much on the, uh, the card options, but we can, we can do that if you're open to it. Um, and then uh, we've uh, obviously from uh, Atlas in my perspective, we're going to be shifting over to the DVPN and the uh, cloud storage solutions, which we have very clear paths on. It's just going to be a matter of uh, development time and um, having the resources available to get those finished. But we knew that the on and off ramps were critical, especially to the Zoom presentations, the sales funnel work we're doing, um, as well as the off ramping the air cards. We know that people are in a, a pinch there and uh, getting shut off by their banks, the centralized exchanges. And so we think those are just going to you know, start flying off the shelf, which we hope will bring revenue back, support the ILC, NFT, uh, rewards pool, all of those great things. Um, but the DVPN and the cloud storage are very nice uh, margin products. And so we're going to be really pushing hard on those. And obviously, as we're going out with the AMA tour, we are going to be talking about the full suite of uh, buying crypto, earning crypto, uh, paying with crypto, and then as well as uh, doing that in a private manner and how we're going to provide those solutions on the VPN and cloud storage, as well as passkey password management system. Uh, looks like we can integrate the password pass key uh, in a way to the cloud storage system. So we're working on that and how we're going to utilize the front end to uh, be able to illustrate that and uh, bring both products under one package, we believe. Uh, but still a lot of work to do on that. I don't want to give any firm dates, but it's um, going to be uh, a very, uh, I would say, a very short development cycle uh, relative to some other products and, and you know things that are a little bit longer longer term, like ArcNet, for example. A lot more work in there, a lot more detail, um, a lot more research and development to uh, bring something like that to the table. But um, these are very clear paths, and we know that we're desperate needed that revenue, so we're going to push those as hard as we can. Um, I don't know, do you want to share any more details on the, the cards and the, the tarot card, or should we save that sure. for a bit down the, down the week? I mean, we could, we could let them know. That, uh, that there's uh, really a lot of progress that was made today. Uh, we're almost finalizing uh, the whole backend structure, if you want to go a little bit into that, because that, that's been a bit of a hurdle, finding the right solution. We were thinking of doing it in-house as far as the, the, the metal card options that we want to go ahead and offer. But go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to um, have a <clears throat> kind of a premium card. Um, so we'll have the... Looks like we'll have the standard plastic card um, as well as a metal premium, at least one option there, maybe two, uh, depending on uh, whether we do an NFT holder only. So if you're a legacy NFT holder, we may have an exclusive card, um, maybe several options there. We haven't finalized that. We're just waiting on the, uh, the samples. And um, so we're hoping that the uh, metal card options will be obviously a little bit more expensive, bring back a little bit more revenue and be a great marketing tool because they are super sexy. <laughs> if you've seen the uh, the Apple card or the, the JPM uh, card as well, they have a metal card now and uh, they're just super striking. And we think that, you know, from a, a marketing perspective, we'd like to get as many out in the hands of all of our users as possible. Um, so that thing, you know, we could show that off and, and bring people back and, and spike some curiosity. Um, uh, but yeah, the, the uh, the Terra card, we will be releasing the kind of specs on all of that as well when the air card releases because the website will have all the details, including the FAQs, all detailed out. Um, but now it's just a logistics game for getting the Terra card into everyone's hands and finalizing the different card options. Um, but we do have a uh, what I think is a really good setup for logistics in terms of uh, a single source to be able to provide those uh, metal cards and be able to ship and pack pack and ship all of our cards out from the U.S. globally. Um, so that's pretty exciting. We, we, we have a great uh, partner and opportunity with the company to do that for us. Um, we were going back and forth about doing that in-house and having our own resources and things to do that. Uh, probably something that we could ultimately do down the road if it, you know, scaled up and made sense. But I think having a partner with expertise in this area, especially on the metal card side, 
um, that has the whole pack and ship process nailed down and has been doing it for a little while is a much better option. So yes, yeah, good progress there. We had some good meetings today and uh, we're gonna move forward as fast as we possibly can to get those tarot cards um, out. And um, the back end is, uh, is there. We just need to do some more testing, some air handling, things like that. When, now that Alex is back, that's obviously something he's gonna focus on. So yeah, we're, we're, we're pushing hard to have those physical cards out. Those are gonna be the ones with the higher spend limits and the high, higher transaction limits and work just like a regular you know, debit card in your hand, look and feel and uh, function wise will be very similar to a debit card. So um, yeah, that's probably all we should probably share on that. And, and uh, we'll, we'll be showing those off obviously <laughs> over the next couple of weeks to get people hyped about those. Um, especially the metal cards and uh, maybe we'll do some promotions or things around those, but um, those will tie into the shorts and everything that we're doing on the front end to help promote these new products um, as well as include those on the AMA tour. So yeah, lots to talk about and uh, uh, lots to come in the next couple of weeks. It's just going to be one thing after another. So yeah, stay tuned. Absolutely. And uh, we're, we're starting to uh, schedule our AMA starting from next week, uh, doing a couple of them, revisiting some of the places we've been before showing off our products. We've uh, definitely uh, been flying the flag of our roadmap and, and to go back and to deliver and uh, really prove and show how the ARC is different, how the ARC is not just an ROI DAP. It's an ROI DAP that always understood that external revenue is extremely important to uh, really bring down any type of uh, Ponzonomics uh, really out of the system. Now, it's something that needs to scale, but just the fact that the team's been able to come and deliver uh, exactly at the perfect time where the industry is facing pressure with those on and off ramps, uh, understanding that there's also a writing on the wall when it comes to VPNs for Americans. We're looking for all the solutions and understanding that there, there are many folks in the world that are looking for privacy, especially when it comes to their crypto, as well as institutions that are looking for decentralized file storage solutions. Uh, great meeting today uh, that went down. We can't get too much information, but uh, boy, uh, it was uh, very, very positive. A lot of work, a lot of development. And uh, if you wanna go back and listen to the recording, uh, Brett did sprinkle some alpha there right in the beginning uh, regarding those products and how strong they're gonna be. And as we're going to be really concentrating as we are bringing the Terra air card, as well as the on-ramp uh, into, into the life, breathing, breathing into it, new investors taking advantage of the AMAs, as well as the Zoom presentations that we're going to be doing. Uh, that's when we're going to kick into that, you know, third gear of bringing out those huge utilities, the ArcNet. A lot of folks have been asking, hey, what's going on with ArcNet? We're, we're getting there. It's just a matter of delivering one, two, three, four, and, and continuing on that path. That is what's going to make the long-term difference here. We've known that we've gone through a very painful, I would say max pain situation in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we're seeing the sentiment of the, you know, quote unquote, DGEN investment community who has a very short attention span. You tell them long-term, but they're, they're very short-term thinking and they just move on to the next shiny object. We understand that. We understand that we need a different audience, that we need revenue, and it's all going to come together. It's just a matter of having the patience, the foresight, and staying calm, cool, and collected. The team is very, very confident in what the future holds, what it brings, you know, what we can deliver that is unlike anything else that we've seen in this space. So it's just a matter of taking the time, doing things correctly, proving, marketing, running great customer service, which is so important, continuing with our you know, trajectory of podcasts is number 238. And we always go back to build it and they will come. And it's about optimizing and making what we have better every single day. We love doing it, we're passionate about it and they will come. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, today is, is, is really the debut, right? Of our new shorts promotion or contest We've got a lot of products that are really coming out. We've got a great story to tell. So um, we've got it queued up over here. Who wants to go ahead and introduce it? It's going to be Coach Brad. It's going to be Mistletoad. I'm not sure which of you 
folks are going to be handling the uh, shorts for just I can uh, I can handle it. Yeah. So uh, this is the shorts contest. We did announce it a couple days ago, but it is officially the first day we have concluded our poll. Uh, actually, you do have some last minute votes if anyone wants to go into there uh, while we play the videos in the in the uh, contest and giveaway topic. There is a poll. There's four shorts also listed in there. And everyday content creators will be able to upload their shorts, Instagram reels, or TikToks over to the sweep widget for their chance to win 50 ARC. Uh, basically, how we're going to do it is we're going to wait for at least three shorts to be entered in to have a vote. And every single day, the person that has the most votes at the end of the day, but the, the, the following day on the next following podcast, will win 50 ARC. And we'll do this every day as long as we have three shorts. As well as every single week, we are going to do the best short of the week where all the winners will go into a head-to-head -head, uh, poll as well. And they will win 100 ARC for best short of the week. And then at the end of the month as well, not at the end of the month, but in 30 days, uh, we will also do a uh, best short of the month where all the weekly winners will go head-to-head-to-head-to-head -to, -head -to, -head -to, -head to win 500 ARC as well as the uh, short throughout the whole month with the most views will win 500 ARC as well. So there's lots of prizes to win. And even if you think, oh, I'm not a good content creator, I'm just starting out, like I just, you know, I'm not as good as some of these guys doing these crazy AI stuff and, and whatever, don't be discouraged because at the end of the month, there is five random prizes for anyone that just makes a short a YouTube or a, a YouTube short, a TikTok, or an Instagram reel. There's five random prizes of 100 arc to be spun on the wheel and win. So the more shorts you enter, the more entries you have. But yeah, let, today let's go take a look at the four entries we have and announce our winner of the day. I think you have the the shorts all queued up there, Atlas. We sure do, sir. Let's go ahead and get it going. Bear with me a second here, and this one should work. We tested it before. All right. All right, so this oh, is oh. number one on the poll from Jashan Vanquish. <laughs> there we go. This one's my personal favorite. Wow, what happened to Johnny? His crypto exchange stopped fiat off ramping, so he decided it was a sign, and he bought some random meme coin. Oh damn, did he buy that PP coin, or whatever it is? Yep, he bought the top and it crashed hard. Man, you're into crypto just like Johnny, but you always seem so cool, calm, and collected. Yep, that's because I'm in Arc Finance, we have daily crypto education on our podcast through our DeFi sessions. Plus, we have a slew of utilities coming, including on and off ramps. I am making passive income every day, just sailing on the Arc. Damn, you should tell Johnny about Arc Finance. <laughs> Oh my God. Let's go. <laughs> oh man, Legos. Wait, this is the Lego childhood. water cooler killed me. <laughs> oh man, he, he always amazes us. He brings so much creativity and and, and, and just a different way. Of, of looking at things, expressing and conveying. And he really has a, a clear vision of what's to come here on the ARC. He's totally bought into the roadmap, everything we're doing, very close to the team, very close to the podcast here every single evening. And uh, he's just proven himself uh, to, to be a complete superstar here in our community. Fantastic work, brother. Sheesh. <laughs> now, Mr. Toad, the, it's, it's the voting still open, so after we look at the four, if there's anyone that's got late to the water cooler, they're coming in last minute, uh, it, but they're joining us here, they're going to see these four shorts, is there a chance that they will be able to vote and maybe after the spark, you tally, and, and, and then we, we uh, figure out who the winner is? That's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, go through them all, and then maybe after the wheel or after the after spark, we can announce the winner. All right. We get as, as, as much feedback, right? <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Exactly. Great. Thank you, sir. So let's go ahead and, uh, oh, who's this handsome fellow? 
He looks like a Spanish conquistador. El Quixote. Who's that? <laughs> Mr. Tim? That is, sorry, I was muted. That is Brandon, the drip guide. That is his amazing short, driving 100 miles an hour, grabbing the donuts. <laughs> this one's awesome. All right, let's go. Let's get, I mean. Ooh, that was weird. Let's spend this crypto. <laughs> First stop, Krispy Kreme donuts and 5% cash back. Next stop, groceries. bringing it great shots i mean you're you're you've got that pov view you're you're vicariously there with him driving the speed the emotion the crispy cream you know watching him eat it then going to the publix picking out the healthy food right he's gonna take that home to the family and then walking through i love the beep beep you know right at the counter i mean we've all experienced that and then bringing out the phone tapping right there at the point of sale system approved approved we get did we get that <laughs> <laughs> oh man that was that was brilliant this was our our official first short and uh leave it to brandon i think it took him like two three hours to put this together uh definitely a classic piece of work and I, and I also think, I, I want to point something out here. This is, I think, exactly a video that literally anyone in our community or who uses these products and wants to win free ARC and, and, and create these shorts can do. We all can go to the store. You don't even have to show your face if you don't want to. Um, I understand there's a level of privacy that some people would personally like. That's great. You can shoot you know, in front of you, you're shopping, putting gas at the store, filling up the car, you know, things that we do on an everyday basis and just taking us for a ride with you. Let us be part of that journey and let's disseminate this message. Let's push this around the globe so folks can see how easy it is. Uh, for those folks that also don't want to show their face, you can do the, the actual purchasing on the D app of ARC, right? You could, you could, show that part, incorporate that with the POV video. So I think a great example, some shots there that I, that I think really speak to how convenient, how easy this is. There's so many spins, but I love this one. I love the other one of Jashan too, and he's got another banger that's coming out, I believe after this one. So I don't know, uh, Brandon, uh, do you want to comment on that? Was it really, really difficult? Was it fun? Yeah, it was uh, it was fun. I still like my video. <laughs> Every time I play it, I like the music, uh, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, just wish I had more time in the day. I would I would make more. <laughs> could, you, could you give us the last one more time? Some time. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Fantastic. Brother. Great, 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 great work, man. That one got me really pumped. And uh, Thank you. you present uh, the next one, Jashan, again. Another again. One from Jashan. This was another big uh, favorite, number three on the short poll. And uh, yeah, this is the one with the villain, the Joker. I love this one. And, and I don't know how folks watching this just can't be inspired. I mean, first to 
get the product, use it in your everyday life, but, but then to get involved and, and create the content. This is a lot of fun. Look, we have Donatello who is, is, is a YouTuber who's really good in the graphics. He's helped out uh, some of our other new content creators, just regular folks that, that are wanting to take a chance and, and help promote art because they've invested. They have a passion for what we stand for, our morals, the team, the community. Uh, so great way to get involved. We know it's not for everyone uh, to get on and put their face and, and, and talk in a video. Not everyone uh, is comfortable with doing that. But creating this type of content is amazing. And uh, just take some time. And you, you have leaders here. Uh, Jashan has offered anyone who's interested and they want to know editing software, where to get music that you're not going to get, like copyright strikes or anything like that. Um, you know, he's willing to help. So we have leaders here that are willing to help anyone that wants to go forward. So let's go ahead and watch it. Finances for teachers, art finances for plumbers, art finances for. Hello? Hi, honey, it's mom. Oh, mom, what's going on? I haven't seen you on the news this week, dear. Well, you know me. I'm focused on passive income right now. And I've been busy loading up my LSAs for art legacy NFTs. <laughs> That's nice, dear. Yes. And there's more. My exchange isn't allowing fiat transactions for me. No, no, not anymore. Oh, but art has me covered. I'll be on ramping anonymously soon. <laughs> Arc Finance is for everyone, even super villains. Arc Finance is for teachers. Arc <laughs> another another evil laugh. That's a classic here. Let's go. Great one, Deshaun. I mean, that's really, I, I, I think that's a piece of art. I mean, the time, the effort, the script, that hello, mom. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> Deshaun, you want to tell us a little bit about this piece of art you, you put together here, man? Yeah, can you guys hear me or not? I, I'm, I'm driving again, so it might be a little... You sound you perfect, my friend. It's all yours. Okay. Yeah, this one was kind of was cool. Uh, I just kind of got the idea when I was driving. I drive a lot for work, so I, I kind of was thinking about it. Uh, and I, I found a filter that, that worked really well. Uh, it came out well. Uh, I kind of did like a makeshift uh, green screen in my office, which was a lot easier than I thought, and then just put it together and... Uh, I said this before, but my, my two-year-old watched me do it. He thought it was the funniest thing he, he had ever seen. He, he was cackling in the background the whole time. Um, so I'm surprised you can't hear him cackling as well. But it was just a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, just, I don't know, just something that I like doing. And, you know, I'm passionate about the arc and uh, I want to make the content. And, uh, you know, with the stuff that's coming with the road ramp, or the, the roadmap, it's going to be awesome. So I can't wait. Thanks. Let's go. Moving on, moving on to the next one. And final. All Last right. but not least, the infamous, they've been crazy with the wheel, the Coin Builders TV. They are always on top of the art content, doing an amazing job. If you haven't checked out their channel, do be sure to go subscribe, like. They do daily videos on ARC. And uh, this is their short they've entered. Arcfi is for every Juan. I love that. <laughs> Let's go. It's, it's that easy. No like you're saying. Exactly. Yeah. Giving you the info, pointing out the, the positive, uh, the long-term vision, understanding that uh, we're here for the multi-year. So much to offer. Great work, Coin Builders. They are doing a lot. I don't know if it's live. But uh, there's a daily podcast uh, they're doing. It's in the Filipino language. And uh, it's, it's a fun time. I, I can't understand 98% of the words, 
uh, but they'll sell, uh, they'll say LSA, they'll say foundation. Uh, so I pick up on that stuff because it's in English and relative to the ArcFi ecosystem. Uh, but they're very passionate. Sometimes they stay there for over an hour and they are so consistent. Uh, it's, it's almost like art imitating art. Shout out to our great friends, the coin builders. Sheesh. Amazing work. So yeah, that is all the four shorts for tonight. You can go over into the contest and give away topic and go vote for your favorite one. We just played them in order from one to four and that's, they're just listed right on the poll. So we will, uh, I guess, move on to, do we want to do the wheel or the Sparky? Oh, let's do the wheel. That way I do Sparky after that. And while I'm doing Sparky, you get to uh, tally the, the winners here, give folks enough time to go ahead and cast or vote. Let's go. All right, let's pull it up. All right, welcome to the All Aboard giveaway, the Wheel of the Toad, where we give away some free ARC every single night live on the podcast. This is just a contest and a giveaway for everyone on board the ARC. Everyone can participate. It really helps push the algorithm for the content creators here on board. <clears throat> it's very easy to get involved, very simple. Every single day after the podcast, we tweet out, we post in the contest and topic, sorry, contest and giveaway topic. We post it in the main chat and in the announcements channel, the new sweep widget link. To get involved, all you need to do is click onto that new link every day after the pod. It's going to redirect you to a website and it's going to range from, uh, sorry, it's going to be a task list ranging from liking and commenting some YouTube videos, clapping up some Medium articles or retweeting some Twitter links. It's very easy. Once you go through all of those tasks, your name is going to pop up on this amazing wheel right here where every single day we will spin it to find our lucky winner of 50 ARC. And again, we do this every single day. It only takes a few minutes of your time to get involved. And it, like I said, it really helps push the algorithm for all the content creators that create YouTube videos, TikToks, or even all the shorts that we're doing. So please get involved. And if you don't win, it really helps push the algorithm and raise the tide for everyone. So without further ado, let's spin that wheel. And congratulations, Lee Roy Whitekiller. You have won $50 worth of ARC. Congratulations. And thank you, everyone, for participating every day. It goes a long way. All right, Alice, do we move on to the spark? Yes, we can. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and bring the spark up and that'll give you time to tally. Is it still open? For, if there's anyone last minute here that wants to cast their vote for the shorts, who's going to be the ultimate winner of these fantastic shorts? Is there yes, still sir. You guys got a few minutes to cast your last ballots in for the night and oh. claim the winner of the shorts contest. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, we're going to give away 854.75 ARC to a lucky winner. If you own a legacy NFT, congratulations, you qualify. If you're in the LSA, you have at least 250 BUSC in the LSA, regardless of what the price of ARC might be doing, you qualify today, tomorrow, the day after, every single day, folks. And if you're into foundation and you have at least $250 worth of bond, you also qualify today. However, keep track of the price as you might need to top it up if the price goes lower. It is volatile, folks, but you also qualify. Let's get this crypto, sit back, relax, and let's see who the lucky winner is going to be. 10% of the spot is going to be going to the MVP.
this crypto. All right, there we go. Let's see who the winner of the Sparky is going to be today. 855 ARC for the Spark. And there it is, folks. Today's lucky winner, their wallet ends in 9D04. They've won 769.97 ARC. And they've won three times. That's right, folks. Third time winner. Sheesh. Woo-hoo. Congratulations, man. Their NDV has to be through the roof. And now with this new Nitro Boost, boy, they have to be sitting pretty at that 2% for quite some time. And today's daily MVP, their wallet ends in BE06. They've taken 85.55 ARC of Nitro Boost. Congratulations, MVP. Guaranteed, guaranteed win. Anyone out there that's out there on those crypto streets, Wall Streets, any street, bringing folks into the ARC, boy, can they win. With that, we're going to go ahead back to Coach Mistletoe. Sir, do you want to tell us, are, are you prepared on your side to reveal who the winner of all those amazing shorts is here yes, at Black? Yes, I am. I will even share the poll for everyone so they can see they're watching back on YouTube over there. Oof. But it was a close one. It, while we had a few last-minute stranglers, it was a tie vote between Deshaun's Lego video and Brandon the Drip Guide. But he last minute came in with the clutch. And Brandon, you have won the first contest for sh- best <laughs> short of the day. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 right on. Uh, 
<laughs> well, deserved, well often, my friend. thank you thank you i uh i didn't think it would happen um Deshaun's two videos are freaking amazing top quality um it's uh I think he's way more productive than me, so <laughs> I'm sure he's going to be winning uh, these in the future. Because um, I'm I'm uh, not in the game as much as he is, so that's awesome. Thank you guys very much. Thank Great you. Great work. Well deserved. I mean, <laughs> just so much quality, so much quality, and I just can't wait to see the creativity from our community, what they're going to be able to come up with uh, so many creative ways. I can, I can just imagine somebody at a water park, right? It's the summer, it's hot, they're taking the kids and uh, they're going to take their air card, get all the kids, buy the tickets for the water park and, you know, go down to slide. Maybe they've got, a, you know, uh, one of those little plastic uh, protectors for the phone and they're going down to the torpedo, <laughs> down, all the water's everywhere. And, you know, then they, they go and buy some ice cream for the family. I mean, there's going to be so much fun to be had with the air card that it's it's just, it's just going to be so fun. I, I could imagine a lot of things. I'm sure you're going to all witness exactly what we're talking about, the creativity from these great folks as they're going to step up and mark these words, folks. There are going to be new stars born here on the ARC from our very own community. It's so easy. Yeah, yeah, there's there's tons of room for all sorts of creative ideas. So I, I think it's going to be very successful. I think it'll bring a lot of new people to the ARC. And so it's great. Uh, I'm I'm totally shocked, though, that uh, that my <laughs> my video eked out above uh, on top of uh, Jashan's videos. Uh, those were really, really awesome. So I'm uh, grateful. And it's there are. You know, and, I, and I'd like to see because see the winners get published right on the ARC YouTube. But I, I'm so proud of, of the work. And let's see, Mistletoe, if we can actually get all of them uploaded, if, uh, you know, they're willing and able. This is all great content. I would hate to see uh, those videos from Sean get uh, not left behind because they're in his channel. But as we're putting so much marketing dollars and efforts into the YouTube and everything, everything we're doing, and people are going to be hearing about the ARC. I want them to have the exposure. I want them to see the quality of the work, the passion, the time is taken, the creativity, and you know the the quality that we have here from our great content creators. These are not paid shows. This is coming purely from passion. You know, understanding the time sacrifice and putting yourself out there. Not everyone's willing to do that. So let's let's get every, all of those put over there, and, and a great way to support to support our coin builder friends as well, because they put their own twist on it. They didn't even, you know, have to speak. They showed graphics that were conveying the message of what's what's happening here. Let's go. Let's do it. That's hey, awesome. Right. Yeah. That, that, you know, YouTube channel part of, of, of the arc uh, with the shorts, uh, we want to turn that into yeah. a place to be, to, to just be entertained. Uh, maybe even some folks like like highly addicted to watching, you know, what the shorts are. So uh, let's continue on that journey. It'll be a lot, a lot of fun. So with that, it is time, folks, for our very own crypto DeFi expert, the one, the only, the legend, Mr. Z, who's always breaking down the charts, telling us what's happening out there on the crypto streets, on Wall Street, you know, really Everything that has to do with traditional finance and crypto combined here, where it's not the moon boy hype, it's the facts, it's the pay yourself narrative, it's the be careful, it's the buy the news, sell the fear. I mean, all of it is here. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm doing multiple things right now, so just I just want to make sure I'm, I'm sharing the right screen. Can everyone just see uh, the charts right now? No, it's your Discord, sir. Discord? Really? Now it's a chart. Yeah, it might be. Now uh, it's a chart, right? Line. Yes, sir. Okay, no worries. Yeah, because I'm doing multiple things. But yeah, um, so so currently, uh, price is looking to go down. Like, um, if if we were to break the 31k region, it would have been uh the last couple of days when you look at it from a technical point of view. So I think we, uh, from here, Bitcoin goes back to 20, uh, sort of. I mean, sorry, the 30k region where it is right now and and, and below. I think that's where 
I think we've taken uh, the tops and bottoms, and I think now we look to go down. So, so that's that's one thing I see from a technical point of view. I might be wrong, uh, but I still have my target down here. Like this is my sort of goal point of twenty one to twenty two k. So we'll see if uh, sort of BCC reaches that. Uh, now in the news, I've uh, uh, I've got two good news, like like, like some, some some good positive things that happened in the, in crypto um, today. Um, so if you guys can see my screen, um, so basically what happened was uh, the the EU standards and the European Commission they instructed Binance to remove uh, uh, several privacy coins, the and uh, and and Binance agreed to it. Uh, this was about four months ago. And and the headline today reads: Binance uh, reverses decision to delist privacy coins in Europe. Uh, Binance said it revised operations to comply with EU standards and delist several privacy coins after carefully considering feedback from the community and several projects. So, you, you had a bunch of projects that, uh, and, and one of them uh, sort of I've got a bag of, which is a Verge currency. Uh, so so V uh, X V G. This was one uh, project, and there was there was. Quite a bit of protest on on Bi, uh, um, Binance's side uh, to basically keep these uh, coins uh, trading. Uh, so today, um, yeah, this was the statement that Binance made today about it. So they go after carefully considering free feedback from our community and several projects. We have revised uh, how we classify privacy coins on our platform to comply with EU-wide uh, regulatory requirements. So this is a um, a, 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 a big thing, and here at Arc, we we believe uh, privacy is uh, is of the fast importance, especially when we go into this uh, digital economy. And uh, and yeah, so initially, Binance was to delist privacy tokens for u- uh, users in France, Italy, Spain, and Poland, rendering them unable to buy or sell uh, twelve privacy uh, tokens beginning on June the twenty sixth. Per email, users uh, received Beam, XMR, MLB, Fire, and Zen are still included in the restriction. Since the overall ban has been retracted, various projects have t- taken to Twitter to re- uh, reissue community members. So yeah, uh, we we had uh, about five different uh, token projects go out and 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 make that announcement. So Verge Currency was one of them, and th- this is what they had to say. So they go, we're pleased to inform that XVG will remain unaffected by Binance. Trading restrictions on privacy coins in certain EU countries. Verge u- utilizes a, a public blockchain with visible transactions amount in wallet addresses. So this is uh, one great news that came uh, out of Binance. Uh, the other good news that came out was uh, was for Bybit. So uh, here, uh, so, so Bybit got approved in uh, in Cyprus. Uh, they they got their license approved, so Bybit can. Uh, can now trade significantly. Um, so yeah, so the crypto adoption in Cyprus beefed off by Bybit's license approval. Following Binance's departure from Cyprus, Bybit strengthened uh, strengthened uh, the island's crypto ecosystem after acquiring an operating license. And uh, and yeah, we are excited to introduce a crypto arc to Cyprus. Isn't that cool? Did they take that name from us? I wonder. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so so the crypto exchange Bybit revealed it, it has acquired a license to operate as an exchange and custody service in Cyprus. The world's most uh, third most visited uh, crypto exchange will begin operating, uh, will offering trading crypto and fiat currency pairs and crypto related financial services. Um, so yeah, that's uh, 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 Cyprus is 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 a uh, big crypto hub in um, in, in Europe. And uh, and and this is uh, pretty bullish on their side to to, to allow uh, Bybit to to uh, take up a license here. So I think I think Cyprus is kind of catching up to the uh, to, to to the Emirates to to places like Abu Dhabi and, and Dubai when it comes to crypto adoption. Um, yeah, that's all the news for today. Two bullish uh, news factors. I want to leave it there. Thank you. Short and sweet. Very positive. All right. Thank you uh, for the DeFi sessions there, my friend. We're going to stick around after the recording is concluded here, and we're going to do some Q&A here with our community. We want to thank everyone that came out here today on this very busy Monday on the ARC. We hope that you're making the best of your Monday as well. And uh, for the folks that are listening or seeing the podcast on YouTube, that is really the easiest place 
to be able to go through and find exactly the chapter, the part of the podcast that interests you. That's why we do it. And you will find uh, the folks that are here. Maybe you arrived late or you want to check out uh, a single part of the live podcast. Mistletoe uploads it right after we're done here. Makes the chapters very easy to find anything. We're going to be back tomorrow, same time, folks, 4 p.m. EST, 8 p.m. UTC. We uh, really want to thank all of you for your fantastic patience, for all your continued support here of this community, of this team, of the project. We're going to get through. This is the arc. We're going to bring so many folks, throw them that lifeline, and help them onboard their fiat to crypto and take their earnings in crypto back home to feed the family, put food on the table as they're paying themselves. Thank you all. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you tomorrow.